Next up, I'm excited to introduce two incredible artists, Billie Eilish and Takashi Murakami. I gotta tell you, it's kind of crazy back there. Like, everyone who is like the most talented people in the world are backstage. But I'm bringing up two at a time. Only 17 years old, Billie is one of the most creative artists of her generation. Her songs have been streamed more than a billion times, and she's a great partner of Adobe's, working with us on a creative challenge, as well as the Photoshop camera lens you saw yesterday. She'll be joined by Takashi Murakama, an amazing Murakami, an amazingly prolific artist who's famous for blurring the lines between commercial and fine art, and for working in mediums from animation to fashion. Both Billy and Takashi have done groundbreaking collaborations with other artists, brands, musicians, and most importantly, with each other. Here's a clip of Billy's You Should See Me in a Crown video, which was created by Takashi. Please welcome Billy and Takashi to the stage. Visions I vandalize, cold in my kingdom size, fell for these ocean eyes. You should see me in a crown. I'm gonna run this nothing to hell. Watch me make them bow. Guys, how are you? Welcome to Kashi. Murakama. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First of all, that video is amazing. Oh my God, all the cameras are up. Um, so it's kind of like oh, rock anime when I first saw it. So how did you two find each other and decide to work on this project together? Mm. Um, for me, my team had been trying to reach out to his for like months. And like there was nothing happening, and then I, I remember like randomly going on Instagram, and he had DM'd me like 20 times <laughs> after they had literally been trying to reach him forever. And um, then I hit him up, and he just was like, "I love, I love everything you do." And I obviously it's Takashi Murakami, so I, I, my mind was blown. Um, and from then on, it just was like sending back ideas and creative stuff. And he drew me, and it was like the craziest moment. So that's how it started for us. Because he totally captured you, like your total vibe. Mm -hmm. He got you completely. Yes. And so, Takashi, when um, Billy reached out to you, like, were you excited about that? Uh, in uh, Instagram, maybe, right? Mm -hmm. I, but the first posting, first message from me, like you, uh, the Billy wearing for the bootleg, like uh, multi-color Louis Vuitton stuff. Yeah. That's why, you know, I posted, oh, this is great. And then she gave me the response. And uh, that moment was, you, you were coming to Tokyo, right? Mm -hmm. And then meeting. So, and, but uh, when we made first, first day, next two days, we already starting for the motion capture, right? Mm -hmm. This video. So really quick, you know, com uh, collaboration thing so we did so the two of you so what was the process like so you said you captured um, uh, Billy's kind of um, motion and you, you understood kind of her as a performer what was the process like it's you have an idea right yeah I mean so I had a plan to go to Japan um, before he even reached out to me and then it kind of worked out perfectly that I was gonna be in Tokyo at the same time as he was gonna be you know and, everything um, and we like as soon as we got to Tokyo we just went to his studio and I looked around and I just it was the most incredible amazing experience like his art is like the most shocking and insane most beautiful thing I've ever seen and I remember going around the studio pointing out things that I liked and things that inspired me and things that drew my attention and then towards the end of looking at his studio we went into this one room and it was where basically he had put all these pictures that he liked 
for the video we were planning on making. And what was crazy was we went into that room, and it was literally every single thing I pointed out, without even any conversation about what I liked. It was just like, already every single thing that I liked in that entire room was all right there. Um, and then the next day, we went to this motion capture um, studio, and I put on this bodysuit and had all these balls all over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so speaking of like putting stuff on, so you guys both have an amazing look. I mean, completely different, but like you guys have like such a great look. And I heard you collaborated on a clothing line together. Is that right? So, um, do you have stylists? Um, do you dress yourself? How do you, how do you use fashion as an extension of your creativity? Um. I mean, I don't want to cut him off if he wants to say some stuff, but uh, for me, fashion has always been like a, 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 a security blanket for me, and it was like always my way of expressing how I felt without saying anything. Mm. And um, that was something we both, Whoa. I think, with, like both felt without even realizing it was just, I think there was a mutual respect for um, style in a way mm -hmm. and it's very different but it's so it's so unique his you know what I mean and mm -hmm. um yeah we just I don't know Takashi oh yeah I'm geek people so I'm not you know wearing you know looks this is a kind of a costume <laughs> play like you know I found a really nice fit in my feeling the, the kind of the that this like a street closing uh, the store of uh, the owner, mm -hmm. the cherry. Mm -hmm. So I found in Instagram, mm -hmm. and then I uh, I offer him about you know coordinate. But uh, you know this is a really nice protector. <laughs> like uh, like here is you know I'm not you know shy. Like this is a kind of uh, you know, <laughs> so stuff. like do you put your clothes <laughs> out the night before you go to bed, <laughs> or you Sometimes. just wake up and you know what you're gonna wear? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Billy, first of all, are you really 17 years old? Yes. <laughs> like, this girl is so sophisticated, style-wise, musically, artistically. So, um, what is your biggest source of inspiration, and, and how did you become you? How did I become me? Yeah. I was born out of my mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> don't clap for that. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer that. I mean, obviously, I've always been me. Uh, so... You popped out just like I this. I popped out like this, man. <laughs> Green hair and everything. <laughs> so, um, so, Tashi, you've been called the king of collaboration because you've worked with um, so many different brands, from Louis Vuitton, you've worked with Kanye West, you've worked with the LA Lakers. Uh, how do you bring your vision to a project when you're collaborating with someone else? Each time to the same way. Like uh, from the musician having a big image, and then, you know, I, my position is, uh, looks like a, you know, art, like a musician is a pitcher, I'm catcher. Like, uh, you know, I have to respond to the, you know, some order. So I'm a puppet, and uh, you know, position is a puppet master. So it looks like that, you know, position. <laughs> this is this is this is, you know, because he, uh, by the way, like uh, she has, uh, you know, this video came from her, everything. So and then, you know, uh, I editing for the like a translation for the Japanese animation way. And uh, plus, like, you know, I added things for the, my identity for our stuff. But, uh, you know, whole image came from her. So that means, like, any time to the same way. So I'm not, you know, creative people. Right? <laughs> just, like a... just, you know, <laughs> capturing. <laughs> so do you have, like, a list of people you want to work with? Or people just reach out to you? Do you reach out to people? I do so. Oh, uh, no, it's uh, a, <laughs> hey, uh, because, you know, uh, uh, I, okay, so I'm, my standing position is a fine artist. I'm not, you know, graphic designer, it's, you know, I'm not. Just, just you know, every day doing for the, my, some, you know, making a painting or sculpture, 
but uh, you know, this is a, a collaboration thing is a, my kind of next job. So that's why you know, I have no risk. You know, and, uh, but right now, is, uh, I'm really enjoy for the kind of the you know, fashion design thing. That's why you know, I, now so I'm doing for the, my own you know, design stuff. Well, we'd like to work with you, and we work with Billy already, and um, that's, uh, I think, been an extremely, uh, to us, incredible collaboration. So Billy's appeared in an ad campaign um, for young creators, and it's been just a, you know, enormously successful. Uh, and we, you participated in a creative challenge, which I talked about earlier. So we had 8,000 submissions um, uh, from young creatives who wanted to show their work uh, to Billy. And, did you pick the winner? Were you um, involved in that? And ha what made you pick that? Um, I mean, it was pretty hard because there were obviously like uh, thousand, eight thousand, right? Yeah. So I that's... think we made a curated some of them. Yeah. There was like um, I was sent I don't know how many, but a lot, and I looked through them and I kind of narrowed them down. And what was crazy was like they were all so beautiful and Weren't so they? interesting, and um, so it made it really hard. <laughs> um, but I think what, what kept it unbiased was like, I wasn't given anyone's name, no, um, like I didn't know what anyone looked like, anyone, who anyone was, it just was just the art in front of me, which I, ke I think kept it so, um, whatever the word is, I don't know the word, but um, I narrowed it down to like four, and they were just so beautiful. And I, I think I picked the main one just because I thought it looked like nothing I'd really ever seen. It just was so beautiful, it's like this picture of me half in and out of water, and I don't know, it was very beautiful to me. It like touched me in a way. And it was just, it was like, I think a 16 year old girl from Australia. Yeah, and, we, and she came to meet Yeah, you, right? we flew her out to meet me at um, my show in Los Angeles, I think. Yeah, here. She was such a sweetheart. She was so sweet. Um, so it was like, it's a huge honor to be part of that. That's cool. Well, thank you for doing it. I mean, it's, it's an incredible kind of thing when we get all of this work from artists, and a lot of them are often really young and trying to, you know, make their break. Um, it's stunning. We, I mean, we get so m we get thousands of submissions, and they're also fantastic. We try to curate them down, but um, it's it's pretty incredible. So, um, Billy, you grew up on social media, and Hitachi, you have embraced social media, and I'm just wondering how social has really impacted your work. I mean, it's everything right now, and that's. That's good and it's also bad. Um, I mean, the good part is like, I, I, I pretty much owe the internet my entire career because it's the only reason it happened. And it's the only reason that I have anything out there, any music out, any, it's the only reason I started making music was the internet um, and the only way anyone heard it um, or found me. So in that sense, I owe it everything and it's like, made me who I am, but then it's, you know, the internet's always looking at you and watching you and um, trying to ruin you in a way. Like now... That's the bad part. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it is what it is, you know? It's like you, you have to have the bad parts to have the good parts, and the internet is everything bad in the world and everything good in the world in one place. So, Takashi, how do you feel? Oh... How do you feel like you, social media has yeah, impacted YouTube your YouTube can say social media, right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, like when I see the first concert in Tokyo, the B, the, you know, like a she making for the video. You, you made a video, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a, you know, catch up from the maybe YouTube or somewhere. Yes. Like a, she did the, oh, you know, yeah. her iPhone. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like a background, the animation stuff, anime, that looks like a video stuff. Mm -hmm. Everything she did. He's so sweet. It's kind of, you know, <laughs> she's, you know, uh, why? So, oh, sorry, like a copyright <laughs> no, thing. No, no, <laughs> so, no. But, you know, this is a, oh my God, this is, a, you know, completely, you know, new generation. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, so she and me, the distance is 40 years. So, like, kind of the, oh my God, I have no job, will, you know, soon maybe. <laughs> because it looks like her is very, you know, creative. You know, uh, that, you know, uh, the video was, uh, somebody said, uh, in an airplane you did, right? Mm -hmm. You did, uh, she did, uh, you know, editing in an airplane. Mm -hmm. it, and then, you know, showing in Tokyo stage. This is, you know, uh, incredible. 
So that is a, you know, completely change everything. Yes. And also the, he came, you know, sorry, yeah, go, those, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Um, he just, he came to one of my shows in Tokyo and he's talking about the visuals that were like projected on the screen. And I remember he was like, who made those? And I was like, me, he was like, <laughs> he was, you impressed him. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's actually true. I totally forgot about that. I, I made them all and I got them all off, you know, I, I like, screen recorded a million things off of YouTube and made a whole movie about it, basically. Like, all my visuals were, came from the internet. It's kind of, the two of them are so crazy creative. If you don't follow them on Instagram, you really should. I mean, just between what they wear and, and just kind of the entire creative spectrum of work, you will see it on these, on these two feeds. So um, beyond social media, has, ha, how has technology impacted your work? Has it at all? Uh, me? Either uh, one, uh, sure. It's in, uh, like when I was 20, I don't know, 30 years old, you know, Apple, like a Macintosh is coming, was coming. And then we, I, I bought, you know, very small box the, with monitor. Mm -hmm. So at the moment was, you know, everything changed. And now is, uh, you know, can do that, you know, making for the iPhone, you know, anything. So that means recently, these two months, I have no job in, uh, you know, kind of laptop. So everything can do that in uh, you know, iPhone stuff. That's why maybe in the future, doesn't necessarily to the, this you know, device. Mm -hmm. Maybe it looks like a you know, Dragon Ball Scout or something. And then you know, say something and thinking <laughs> something is a... <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> this, is, you know, this is a good thing. A techno I love technology, but uh, you know, I cannot make a technology. You know, please make it for a much easier to you know, install everything. Mm -hmm. like your company also, right? <laughs> <laughs> How about that for you? <laughs> I want to know what, what it looks like in his brain. I know. For real. <laughs> I, I think his brain looks like what he's wearing. For real. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The, the stuff, oh gosh. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I have never met somebody like him in my oh, life. That's very sweet. He is, he is like one of a kind in every way. <laughs> for real. I don't. So do you think you'll work together again? If he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. I'd like to see that. I'm sure everyone would like to see you guys work together again. Because it's pretty, <laughs> pretty yeah. unbelievable. Pretty unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, so um, maybe just um, a couple of uh, questions about what's your advice for, there are a lot of people, you have a lot of fans, both of you in this audience, and I should also tell you, we have about 700,000 people who are live streaming this. Um, <laughs> and so... <laughs> There are a lot of people who would, who would like to know what your advice is for aspiring um, creators. You guys are really successful. What, what would you tell these people? Me? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like, uh, <laughs> like, from you, right? I'm old people. Like, I, 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 have, I have nothing to the... I'm, you know, anytime to, I'm very worried about uh, coming oh. up to the younger generation, it's, you know, oh. please stop. This is my message, right? <laughs> You know, I, I want to work in another 20 years, so that's why. <laughs> My message is stop. <laughs> Crazy. I, oh my God. Oh my God, it's right. <laughs> Billy, advice? Um, <laughs> um, I just do what you want. That's all I can say. For real, just do exactly what you're gonna be happy with. I, I can't say anything more. I just, even if, no, I, there's nothing more. Like, whatever is gonna make you, as long as it doesn't harm anyone <laughs> or ruin someone's life, do what you want and do what's gonna make you happy and what's gonna bring you joy and make you proud and make you feel like you've accomplished something. Um, if you're doing, you know, if you're creating or, or writing or whatever you do, if you make music, if you draw, if you paint, if you sing, if you take pictures, like, mm -hmm. if you're doing it to please somebody else or you're doing, or the way you're doing it is to please someone else or, um, you know, satisfy someone else. Mm -hmm. What if that person died, you know? Like, then what? <laughs> That's how you. I think about it. I mean, I'm not trying to make, like, death as, like, a joke, because it's not. I apologize. So, my bad. It's okay. I just mean... This is a safe place. 
Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very safe place. All these uh -huh. people are like you. All these people want to be you, but they're I mean, mm. creative people. They understand. Well, I just mean, this is something that I've said a lot. I've, re I've repeated it like a million times, which is just like, if, if you're trying to please everybody with what you're making, what you're doing, mm -hmm. what if everybody, everybody dropped dead? Mm -hmm. Like everyone was just gone. Then you'd be stuck with that thing that you've been doing for all these people, but they're not there anymore, you know? And like, are you going to be happy with that? Mm -hmm. And the answer is probably no. So do what's going to make you happy. And there's, you're going to do things that don't make you happy, and sometimes that's OK. But in general, I try to chase the feeling of, of um, happiness, I guess. It's very deep. You're a very old soul. Thank you. Yeah, you are. OK, um, so as we wrap up, can you guys tell us what you're working on now? Maybe we'll start with Tashi. You're probably working on like 60 things. Billion. Oh, oh my uh, uh, long project, spend the money a lot. <laughs> uh, uh, like, uh, no, it's uh, making a movie, making a movie. Oh, like, yeah. Kind of, kind of most of movie, kaiju movie. Oh. So uh, I want to finish maybe next year. So that is my goal. What is it? What's it about? Uh, it's, it's, you know, I, I made by, uh, uh, I made the part one, like, uh, you know, uh, 90 minutes movie, uh, Jellyfish Eyes. Oh, please watching. You know, <laughs> maybe you didn't see that. <laughs> and then I'm making for the part two. So this is a completely geek, you know, <laughs> movie. Uh, right, kind of that. <laughs> Great. Well, we look forward to seeing it. And how about you, Billy? Um, I'm working on new music. I'm working on stage design right now for the mm. next tour. Mm. Um, I'm about to go on my first arena tour ever, and um, just trying to figure out ways of making it like the craziest thing anyone's ever seen, um, and not waste all my money. So, well, I'm working on it, I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Well, good luck. The two of you are amazing. Thank you so much for coming. Let's have a big hand. <laughs> Thank you.